Okay, back to the phones we go, and this is uh, Leona Valley, California. Hi, Carl. I'm glad you waited. It's great to have you on the program, sir. Well, good morning, uh, Rush. You're at, uh, well, this is the West Coast, so it is morning. Uh, thank you so much for putting me on today. You bet. Uh, the reason I called, I've been, um, about a year and a half ago, you talked to a border guard, and you explained to him how he could listen to you when he's in and out of his truck by uh, getting a iPod. And about two weeks ago, you explained the same thing to a schoolboy that uh, wasn't able to listen to you. And I got to tell you, those that almost, I don't know if it should be a daily routine, but I, I started doing this about two years ago, and it had just turned my world around because I work in a building which has no radio reception, and I wanted to listen to you forever. And, um, Isn't that a pain? And don't you issue. hate it when that happens? I mean, you oh. got the radio show, and you want to listen to it, and you're in a building, and you can't get it. You know, there, there's more um, benefits to this, too, that I've discovered, because when you're in the middle of a story, I don't have to stop and get out, or if the phone rings, I don't have the inter- interruptions. I am one day behind, but with my podcast, I just put you on pause, and I come right back, and I can hear the whole story. Like, uh, over the weekend, I was listening to that uh, great story about the uh, taste test for your tea. Oh, yeah. Uh, it would have killed me to not be able to hear the second half of that story. It was great. Yeah, he's talking about that. This was. This was a guy <laughs> from, from Pennsylvania, the 4th of July. Their giant family gathering and they did a blind taste test. And uh, of the two of my teeth, 27 of 28 of his family chose and loved two of my tea and a lot of liberals. And they literally got mad. They got it was the funniest thing in the world. If you, by the way, if you missed that, that story is recounted. We've got it up at RushLimbaugh.com, and we've also got the, uh, the details of it at our T website, twoifbyt.com. But look, Carl, I, I appreciate this. You know, one of the one of the things that that I really am remiss in doing is talking about, because everybody thinks that all I do is talk about myself, but there is so much that I don't mention enough. Um, and I've, you know, I've told you why I have these metal blocks to it, but one of them is the podcast, and another is the Rush in a Hurry, and, and all of the website services that we have. The RushLimbaugh.com membership side, 24-7, is one of the most particularly if you're a fan of this program, it is one of the most comprehensive websites out there. Practically every segment of this program is transcribed. You can listen to it again. You can watch it on the Ditto Cam. And it's all collected in an, in a never-ending, always-expanding encyclopedia-type website. Every Pretty much everything used to prep this show ends up in certain segments of the website. And I just, I don't spend nearly enough time hyping it because there's so little time here. And I stay focused on uh, issues, things that are happening. Um, and I've always been, it's been really tough for me to, you know, hawk my own stuff. But the podcast is a, is a, is a freebie. You have to be a member. But the podcast, what he's talking about, is literally a gold mine. If you have, if you, it, it it is the radio program. Thirty minutes after each program is over, it's provided either on our website or via iTunes. We strip the commercials out because we don't sell commercials in the podcast; those are only for air. So, it doesn't take three hours to listen to the whole thing, and you can start and stop it whenever you want. It's up there every day, and it's a gold mine. It is. By the way, our caller mentioned that um, he's because of the way he uses the podcast. He's he's one day um, behind, and even at that, he's still way ahead of the rest of the mainstream media. The mainstream media doesn't figure out what happens on this program for two or three days because they refuse to listen to it. They go to off-site sites. Eh, you know the drill. But really, it is. The services that we provide at RushLimbaugh.com, we've got the, the Limbaugh Broadcast Museum, which is one of the most amazing technological, graphical feats of accomplishment anywhere on the World Wide Web. The daily, the, the, the volume of data, information that is 
on that website each and it rivals any now it's all this show and whatever else out there we talk about on this program but yeah, the, the the amount of data information that is posted and is available for absorption by people we you know the only sites that would rival us would be places that aggregate all the news sources or uh, maybe a newspaper publication itself but it's just astounding audio and video we've got the EIB store which we're in the process of 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 uh, upgrading we've got all of the parodies are collected there and over the years it's it really is is a gold mine and it, it whatever we charge for it it's a steal but that's how you get the podcast but i don't spend much time talking about all this because uh, I've, just, I've always been uh, nervous hawking my own stuff. When a caller wants to talk about it, that's cool, as, as, the, uh, as the guy did. But uh, that podcast gets so much, uh, so many positive reactions that it is worth mentioning. And the, the Rush in a Hurry free email every day after the program, which is a, a summary of what the full site's going to look like when it's fully updated, but it already has some transcripts in it, some links, and it hits anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour after the program. It's totally free, and there's no strings attached to it. It's just You go sign up at RushLimbaugh.com for Rush in a Hurry, and if you missed the program, there's the first thing that tells you what you missed, and then what you might have missed that you wish you hadn't missed and where to go find it. So there's no excuse for never, there's no excuse for ever missing anything that happens on this, uh, on this program.